Um, with forwards and backwards mix, we can do it on both sides of our body. We can do it on our left side, which is, this is our standard way of doing it where our arm goes across our body. We can also do it on what I call the same side mix, on the same side as the arm that's turning. So that would be here and then come back, right? With backwards, it's the same thing. So when we go backwards, we can do it same side, which this one typically is the easiest to do. So you go backwards and then same side mic and then catch it. We can also do it um, like a standard mic where it goes to the other side. So here, boom, and then catch it there. The, the form changes a little bit. Typically what you wanna do with this is keep your hand, that's letting go, a little bit lower. It tends to just help to have that hand lower so you can kind of pop it up a little bit more nicely. Um, that's the way I prefer doing it. You don't usually do, um, you can do like a wrist pop mechanic, right? Where the rope uh, lays on your wrist and then you pop it off of your wrist and then go into it. That's how I would usually do it for a, re a regular forward make is I would do a wrist pop. Going backwards, you can do that, but I tend to find it pretty easy to just go here and then throw it and then catch it again. Good question. Yeah, exactly. So when we do, when we were, so are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed. Cool. So when, when we do it forwards, yeah, we're, we're kind of, uh, we're going clockwise, right? So clock for, for me, like if I'm looking at my hand, it's going clockwise, right? Clockwise. Um, and then it would be actually going counterclockwise if I was on the same side. When we go backwards, yeah, you're maintaining the direction of the rope. So if it's on the same side, it's literally all reversed. Think of having your thumb and your pinky, right? When it's on the same side backwards, we're turning towards our pinky, so our pinky goes first. And then when we go on the other side, so typically when your arm crosses over, we're going towards our thumb. Cool. Yeah, for sure. And like, and again, this one, this one's just a little bit weird, but I think that what is really fun um, and, and a great way to kind of get into this Don's right doing doing skills with it can really help a lot and, and I, I honestly don't typically do a lot of just standing backwards mix when we do it on the same side one of the best things to do is to actually do a 180 and you, I'm, you, I'm sure you've seen this in some of my combos where I'll be here and I'll jump and I'll mic release and then I'll turn around because we're literally we literally end up facing the rope and it's right here turning in front of us and then we catch it doing that 180. So that's like a really good one to transition from backwards same side to forwards regular, right? And so that, that's like one example um, of where it's, it's just kind of fun to do it that way.